Let's solve a question in class full addressing. We will start the session with the outcomes. Upon the completion of this session, the learner will be able to find the number of addresses, first address and last address of an example class C network. In this lecture, we are going to solve a problem that involves the class C network. And we know basically there are five classes of IP addresses, class A, B, C, D and E. And we are going to focus on class C example today. So obviously the class C example, the first octet will be between 192 and 223. And in a class C IP address, the first three octet represents the network portion. And the only octet that is the last octet is the host portion. And we know the default subnet mask will be 255.255.255.0. So when the first three octets are fixed, we know only one octet is left for the host portion. So we have a lot of networks, but we have only limited number of hosts per network. To be precise, 2,9150 networks, wherein each network will have a maximum of 254 hosts. Why 254 hosts? Because this is the only octet that is left for the host portion. So the starting address will be 0 and the last address will be 255. Between 0 and 255, there are 256 possibilities. So out of 256 possibilities, we are going to subtract 2 because the first address is the network address and the last address is the broadcast address. So we can use 254 IP addresses. Let's see an example then it will be more clear for you to understand. The question is, a host in a class C network has been assigned an IP address 192.168.17.9. Find the number of addresses in the block, the first address and the last address. We are given with an IP address which is 192.168.17.9 and we know it is obviously a class C network. Why? Because the first octet is between 192 and 223. And we are required to find how many addresses are there in the block that is in this block and what is the first address in the network and what is the last address in the network. Let's solve it now. We know it is a class C network. So a class C network means how many network portion and how many host portion. So in an IP address, three network portions, the first three octets are the network portion and the last octet is the host portion. And we know the default subnet mask is 255.255.255.0. In slash notation, it is slash 24. Why slash 24? Because all these portions are one. This is the network portion. So we have a total of 32 bits. Out of these 32 bits, these 24 bits are the network portion. So the subnet mask says the 24 bits are the network portion and only this 8 bits is the host portion. When we take this IP address, we know this IP address has the first 3 octets as the network portion. So any IP that starts with 192.168.17 will be in this network. For example, if an IP is 192.168.20, it will be not belonging to this network. Because the subnet mask says the first three octets should match. And that is why any IP that starts with 192.168.17 will be belonging to this network. So only one portion that is one octet is the host portion. So we are clear that this is the given IP address and we found out that these three portions are the network portion and this is the only host portion left. So this network will be starting with 192.168.17 and the first IP address in this network will be 0 and the last IP address in this network will be 255. If you note here, the first three octets are fixed here. Only the last octet can be changed. So how many IP addresses are possible in this network? We know this is the host portion where each host needs an IP address. So the last octet is the portion that is for the host. So how many IP addresses can be there for the host? It's 2 power 8, right? So the number of possible addresses is equal to 2 power 8. It is 2 power 8 means it is 256. Why 256? Because the first address will be 0, the second address will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 up to 255. So between 0 and 255 we have 256 addresses. Can we use all these addresses for the host? No. In this block though we have 256 addresses, we cannot use all 256 addresses because the first address is the network address and the last address is the broadcast address. So how many usable addresses? So out of 256, we are reducing 2. And when we reduce 2, we have 254 addresses. So how many number of possible addresses? 
We have 256 possible addresses. How many usable addresses? We have 254. So we have solved up to this. Now let's see what is the first address in this network. So in this network, we know it should start with 192.168.17. So the first address is 192.168.17.0 is the first address. And 192.168.17.255 is the last address. So the first address in this network is 192.168.17.0 which is the network address. And obviously the last address is 192.168.17.255 which is the broadcast address. And that's it guys. We have solved this problem. So in order to crack this, we need to know what is the default mask and how many octets are the network portion and how many octets are the host portion. Class C network has a lot of networks wherein each network will have a maximum of 256 IP addresses. Where 256 minus 2 should be done always because the first address and last address are not used for the host. And that's it guys. I hope now you know how to find the number of addresses, the first address and last address of an example class C network. This is a class full addressing. I hope you guys enjoyed the lecture and thank you for watching.